Hey yo, what's hey, good? Yo. It's your boy. I'm going to show you the smartest way to combine FL Studio and Reason. It's not for beginners. It's not for intermediate. It's only for smart people. All right. So I'm going to get FL Studio up. And I'm uh, going to go to channels. Get a rewire channel up. All right, right. Uh, now I'm going to select Reason. Click Multi Out and show panel. That's going to launch Reason. If you get a pop up, that's saying. Your MIDI is used by FL, but I have a 4x4 MIDI, so I can control my MPC, KP3, Core Triton, and all my stuff. But anyway, this is what you want inside of Reason 15 combinators, all right? All of them with an audio merger splitter, all right? Our mixer, and uh, wire that up to the From Devices section on your combinators, and then send your combinators out to your hardware device channel by channel. All right, and uh, save it like that so you don't have to do that every time you load up Reason. All right, so mine is saved like this with the merger splitters already wired up. So now I could just come in here, load a Thor, maybe a Maelstrom, maybe a NNXT. All right, then I hit Tab, hit L, tie the wires, and then uh, just link it to the merger section of the merger splitter. Uh, if I wanted more instruments, I could just add more merger splitters or mixers or whatever. And you can set up effects over here, like if you wanted a reverb only on your Maelstrom. Boom, you could do it, wire it up like that, and uh, you're ready to go. Now in FL Studio, to trigger this Combinator 2 that you can name anything you want, uh, you go back over here to your reason channel and uh, in your MIDI options, just hit this button, add slash change. That's it. You can see your combinator, which MIDI channel they're linked to. This is how you control them. All right, so when you go to channels and get your MIDI out, you just put it on channel two, port zero. All right, but you know me, I gotta keep it genius status. We take it one step further. so. Here in your rewire channel, you uh, you can put whatever channel you want to send it to on your mixer, all right, and then it dumps from this channel up from Reason, all right. So, uh, you can add any kind of effects you want, and uh, this is why you do this because you can't have VSTs inside of Reason. So I couldn't come over here to my waves, doubler, or anything and add it to my reason sounds. That'd be impossible without FL Studio or Pro Tools or a host, you feel me? So um, after that, uh, you can get your MIDI channels, these MIDI knobs right here, to control your, uh, your reason sounds basically like this. So, I'm going to do it in a weird way, kind of, but right with me. We're going to right click this, go to configure, name it, rotary one, and put it on control number 71. That's how you got to remember, number 71 through 78 controls your rotary knobs and your reason combinators. All right. So, after I do that, I'm just going to set up a fruity formula controller on this channel right here click meter go to my presets get a basic sine wave uh, hit play Duh. now you can see what it's doing and I'm just gonna use that formula controller to link to this MIDI knob right here by going to link controller get my formula controller now it's linked to it so to, to make this control the sound and reason all right, I just go to show programmer and uh, you can click everything you have loaded in your combinator. All right, so clicking the door and linking this rotary knob to whatever I want. It could be uh, anything I want, but uh, just put it on the oscillator one octave. So when I get a sound coming out of here, Just gonna set up another. 
another knob. same stuff, you feel me? You feel me? So, you can get crazy sounds by um, messing with your formula controllers and uh, automating all your different stuff, that, you know. And you can go crazy with this because you can start automating these knobs inside of your controllers by other controllers are just recording in your own automation so that's that's a whole nother level you just got to remember these rotary knobs are controller number 71 through 78 all right control these buttons and knobs 71 through 78 all right then uh after that you know, I'd probably just link everything, you know, so this would get renamed to like two and then just give it a color, like red, and then it's coming in on, on this channel, so click channel 10, hit F2, name it two, and then uh, make it that same red so you know it's linked to each other. Like I said, you can go crazy with your effects now by adding your other VST plugins to it. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But that's how you do it the smartest way, man. Stay up.